All right, we're gonna do something with this hair. We need to make sure that I, you know, short hair, you can only do so much, or is that a lie? You can actually do quite a bit with it. But the goal for today, because I have been hit up with this so much lately, is a barely there wave. We're gonna rock that out right now using this. So peep swamps volumes. Let's start that sentence over, shall we? People want volume. <laughs> People want that barely there curl. I'm gonna be honest with you. On the days that you really like my barely there, it's because that was like day two or day three of my hair. And it's fall the curl has kind of slowly fallen out. So be a little bit nicer to your second or third day hair. But if you're trying to create a barely there curl, a barely there wave, however you wanna do it. I got in trouble the other day for seeing the word curl. Do you know that I'm almost 40 years old and I've used the word curl? Wave didn't exist my whole life until the last few years. So when I say curl, I think it's because that's what pops into my brain. But people wanna call it a wave, so you can call it whatever it is you want. That's like the other day I said, um, watch this video or there's this video and my daughter's like video. These aren't called videos is like, I'm like, what do you call it? What do you call it? You don't call it a video, a movie. It's not a movie, film. a film. I don't know, but I use the wrong word by calling it a video. Cause that's not what she thought it should be. Apparently. Okay. We're going to rock this out. I'm going, I am going to pin up my hair. So the barely, where, wait, the barely there wave is needed to have hardly anything going on in the back and your focus is in the front. So your back is gonna be pretty um, straight with just the front taking place. Now, did you see how I just got staticky hair? In the winter time, I always keep lotion on hand. <laughs> no pun intended. I'm funny, right? I'm funny. Yes, I'm funny. So funny. <laughs> okay, we're gonna just start this. So if you want to just have straight, not much going on, you can do that or you can create a curl back here in the back just to get volume because nothing is gonna be seen very much. So I can go around and just create volume under here because again, we things aren't gonna be seen too much, but also the curl is gonna be so light that it's not gonna make that much of a difference. In the front, um, the front pieces, you do what you want and you do what you wish on those front pieces, but you can give it a curl because it is in the front and the barely there is where we want it is in the beginning of it, in the front of it. So I'm gonna make a few curls in this front part. And then as I will, sorry, but and then as I go throughout um, the rest, I'm not gonna do much, it's gonna be in the beginning. Okay, so I'm gonna come around here. All right. Now we're going to go to this next one. All right, so in the begin in the front, this is where we're creating some focus. We're keeping things light. So we don't want a heavy curl. We want it very, very light with what it is we're doing. So as I'm in the front, I'm creating these pieces, but as I go further back, I'm just straightening out my hair. So you can just do a really, really quick one if you want but there's not gonna be very much going on. One side of your hair is always harder than the other, so never forget that. All right, so as I come, this would be so fast that I pull these through, and as I go throughout my hair, it is so fast that it doesn't really matter what happens throughout this back. Cause in the back with the barely there, everything we just want in the front and then in the back as it tapers, we're not gonna really do anything with it, but you do want it to flip under, but we're not gonna do much with it in the back. So all of your focus will be in the beginning, in the very front as you work your way back. All right, so here 
we're gonna come through. And as I always have my flat iron turned down lower. So as you're watching this come on through, I don't have my flat iron turned up high because I'm not trying to get super tight curls. So the biggest, easiest thing to get that barely there wave is to honestly turn your heat down so it's not held very high. Otherwise you're coming through, you might, it might over curl and then you have to straighten it and stuff like that. But this is making it so you don't get that much of a curl for your barely the, there wave. Okay, so I'm getting more in the front. Now we're at a point where I already messed with stuff um, underneath and got, gave it kind of body. So I am just, all I do as I get higher is I discover what I really want, okay? So here we have this all too straight. Here we have a little bit of a wave. And so you see where I do wanna have a little bit of a curl. So I'm gonna take this one here and I'm gonna come and I'm gonna come up there and then pull this ever so softly around. Okay, and I get that wave how I want it. It does not need to be the same from this side to this side. They can be different and they will be different. Like give yourself some grace. They're gonna be different because your hair grows different and you're right and left-handed. So that's going to be different. Okay, now again through here, it's so fast, just giving it something, but it's super, super fast and it's gonna turn into nothing. Then now we're on the top and I'm going to pull it, park it in the middle. Now, this hair was already done before and I got this volume in the front. This is what everybody keeps asking me, how do you get that volume? And I'm gonna show you how. I've actually, I don't know if I've ever shown in a tutorial how I get this volume in the front. So to get this volume in the front, you're going to take your flat iron and you're going to over correct the hair this way. And by doing that, that's what happens. I can do it all along and I can actually do it on other uh, layers too, but I can do it all along as I'm going to come this way instead, even though I want it to sit on that side. And that's how I get that really awesome front piece. So I'll do it on this other side. So it's gotta be a clean piece. It can't be messy. And you're gonna take it and you're gonna run it over this other way. And then you don't do the whole piece of hair because what it does is it separates it to give it that volume and that lift at the top part of it. Now I'm gonna take the piece that I want curled and I'm just gonna deal with the rest to create that barely there wave. See, and now we're adding in that dimension to the hair. Okay, so again, see how this is just so straight, pretty lifeless. I want to add more to it. And I'm gonna overcorrect this one to get that volume. And then set it down. side we're good to go on and in the back I'm gonna make sure that just my ends are nice and clean so they look pretty and not like that my hair got skipped back there and that my friend is how you get your barely there all right I'm gonna spray this bad boy keeping that poof right in there and you can do it however you want. So if you, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't, I don't feel like my hair is even cooperating how I want. I need to just like rewash my hair. I don't know what it was this time around, but the, we're not friends. 
Do you ever feel like that? Like after you wash your hair, that session, you're like, what the heck happened? I don't know if I blew, blew it dry differently or what, but if you don't like where your hair sits in the center, or if your curls aren't exactly even on each side and it's bothering you how one side is laying than the other, like I really like this side right now and this side kind of drives me nuts, then change your part. And by just moving your part over, it adds a little, a lot more of that texture over onto this side, still keeping the, the barely there. Let me show you, uh, waves, but it changes up the whole look. So see how it just makes it look like it has more layers and more texture because we're creating all this volume up here. And now we still have that barely there, but it's just a little bit differently. So that's what I love about this too, is I can create a whole new look just depending on how I part it. Okay. Okay. All right. So more to the story is turn your heat down lower, have it come through softer. The underside can give you volume, but you don't need to focus a ton on the underside, but use it more as of a tool for volume. And then from there on you're set and it's, it's easy as we go, we're going to start in the front, work our way to the back, not having as much volume in the back, which you will see. Sorry. Now that I messed up my part, I don't know what it looks like, but, but you will see that there's not as much going on in the back because the focus is that barely there wave in the front of your short hair. So you can do this with short hair. You can do it with long hair. I of course love it with short hair, but this is how you're going to get yourself a barely there wave. It can last a couple days, but you won't have on the second day. You won't have near as much, uh, wave at all. All right. Again, I'm Justin McClellan. You know where to find me. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel, a like, all the things, give a little support if you wouldn't mind doing so and go find me over on Instagram and say hi on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I go live on Facebook and I'm always showing to hair tutorials and makeup tutorials on Instagram and on Facebook. I hope you have a great day. Take care and we'll see you later.